What's up guys, this is Ian here, coach of your Ladner Lantern, bringing you guys our week 6 match in the AABL. Oh, I just realized that something is wrong here. Let me go check something real quick, and we'll just edit on the fly. Sorry about that. I don't know why I hadn't updated this yet, but we'll just do it on the fly. There we go. Alright, now my record's intact. Uh, so we are playing my good buddy Dom, or Rudiger67, and his Cleveland S Cavaliers this week, and he is doing a little bit better than us. Uh, he's a little bit ahead of us in the standings. He's actually in the other conference. This is an out-of-conference match for us, um, and I'm looking forward to this match. I have a reasonable plan to start off the game. Um, if you haven't seen my team, then you can see it right here. Um, let me talk about his team real quick. So he has Landers Therian, which is a Z user, which I expected to see. Klefki, which I really expected to see and didn't come, so he has no Mega Gardevoir switch-ins at all. Vaporeon, uh, Delmize, which I wasn't expecting. Alolan Persian, which I was expecting. Quillfish, which I was expecting. Neither of those came. Electivire, which is a Z user, which I wasn't expecting and didn't come. Mega Absol, which I was expecting and didn't come. Infernape, which is a Z user and did come. Haxorus, which I was expecting and didn't come. Tornadus Incarnate, which I was expecting and did come. That thing is a huge problem. And Kecleon, which I was not expecting. So, um, no Clef Key is interesting. Now, what does he have? He has priority in Infernape and Kecleon that he could have brought. Um, he has Hazard sitting in Infernape, Kecleon, and Landorus. Excuse me, and he still has removal options in Lando, Delmas, and Torn. But he brought his four times weakness to ice. So my strategy is still to lead with, uh, oh yeah, sorry, whoops. Um, I don't know if he linked the match or not. Nope, the match isn't linked. So let me go grab that link real quick too. Um, yeah. Yeah, so okay, so let's go over our team real quick then. Uh, we are bringing a, an interesting Weavile. Um, no item, fake out lead Weavile. Uh, we're bringing a physically defensive Rotom Wash, which takes on a physically offensive Infernape and Landorus very, very well. Uh, we're bringing a Wish Heal Bell Gardevoir, my Gardevoir. This was primarily for the Clef Key having the Heal Bell, and he he actually just has no Hyper Boy switchins on his entire team, so that's kind of why I brought that. Bringing an Aukaberry Serena for the Infernape, we can actually tank a Flare Blitz and Trop Kick in the face. Bringing a Scarf Nido King, which I thought was my best way around a lot of stuff, and it looks like Ice Beam can be a very safe cl click uh, later. He did bring two Ice Resists, but they're both. Uh, well, they're weak to other coverage moves that Nido King has. And I'm bringing a Rocky Helmet Skarmory, which is also a defensive switch in. Uh, this will be my primary switch in to Delmias this game. And I'll be able to get up rocks on the Delmise, but I'm going to lead the Weavile. Um, that was my strategy right off the bat, and we'll see what he wants to lead with here. He's going to lead with Infernape, so... Infernape. Choice Scarf, let's say. I mean, Close Combat's decimating me, but I can sort of... I can take his item here with the Fake Out on the Weavile. It's not going to do too much damage, but it should do a little bit. I'm outspeeding all of his base 115s. So unless he's Scarf Fake Out, my Fake Out should go first here. And I'm hoping Pickpocket works the way that I said it did in the Team Builder, otherwise that would be very... Uh, not so great. <laughs> that would not be so so fantastic for us. <laughs> um, I haven't even done this meme, but we'll see the results. Uh, more people are hearing Laurel, it's interesting. I think Laurel is the one that you hear when it's a lower pitch, which means you're older, because you can't hear the higher pitch things anymore. Um, yeah, so threats on his team. Tornadus Incarnate is a massive threat to my team. There we go. Fake out. Flinch. And that's not how pickpocket works, it looks like. That just 21. Seems about standard. Um, he could also be Z. Um, which I think is the primary reason that I didn't take an item off of him is because he's Z. So I kind of have to switch. I kind of have to switch, and I'm really scared of like a Grassium Z on my Rotom. Oh, what do I want to switch into here? 
the other thing, the other option is that he could just U-turn. Now, if he U-turns, then Rotom is my better play anyways, because I can Volt Switch on the Delmize into my Skarmory, or I can burn it. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go Rotom. Yeah, there's the U-turn. Okay, so 17% from the U-turn. Rotom Wash. There we are. U-turn just did 17%. How much did it actually do? 17.2, so it looks like a high-ish roll for Jolly. Which makes a lot of sense against my team, because then he outspeeds Mega Gardevoir with it for a- Excuse me, yawning. <sighs> we'll see what he wants to go into here. Rotom Wash is extremely safe. Um, because he doesn't actually have anything that threatens me right off the bat. I can Volt Switch freely on a lot of things, and he can't bring in Lando for free because I have uh, Will-O-Wisp, and Lando can't touch me. <sighs> so we'll see what he wants to do here. Uh, rocks aren't the biggest deal against my team. I only brought Weavile this week to them. It'd be nice to get my Gardevoir in for free. Okay, so he does go into Vaporeon here. So I'm imagining a Toxic's going to come off from this thing. I kind of just want to go straight into Gardevoir on this thing. How much is Gardevoir tanking? Gardevoir from Vaporeon Scald, if I was to... Not a whole lot. If I was just to Volt Switch for free into it. Uh, and how much is Rotom doing with Volt Switch? So 35 to 42 is the damage that we're expecting here. And then I'm going to go into my Gardevoir. If he wants to double into Landorus, it's not the biggest deal, because then I can Will-O-Wisp and click Hydro Pump. I'm not sure if he'll expect the Hydro Pump against his team, necessarily. Um, because he does have the Vaporeon as an immunity. He's actually got a lot of good water resists to cover for Lando and um, Infernape. Okay, so that did 28. Alright, well that's specially defensive Vaporeon then. 28 point uh, nothing so he's definitely specially defensive calm and that was a higher roll on that uh, which means guard of war guard of war against specially defense is not doing a whole lot with hyper voice anymore hmm. now I'm feeling like I might want to go Serena and get a trap kick off Um, I, the only thing is I don't want to get burned, so I'm, I'm, I, I am going to go Gardevoir. Yeah, we're we'll going to Gardevoir, tank whatever he wants to go for here. Trace the Water Absorb, so if he wanted to Scald us, then that was fine. Um, I'm actually fine with getting Toxic because I've got the Heal Bell. So, Psyshock's hitting him a little bit better than Hyper Voice is, so we're going to click that, and we'll see actually what he wants to go into here on the Psyshock, potentially. I would imagine he just wants to stay in, to be honest with you. We'll see what's going on here. I'm not, again, I'm not super thrilled about the Toxic there, but I do have the Heal Bell to get rid of the Toxic, and I have Wish on my own Mega Gardevoir to get some HP back uh, after taking some Toxic damage, and I can tank some Scalds because it's uninvested. It's very obviously uninvested because we saw the exact damage from Volt Switch, so we know he's got no special attack investment on this thing. Uh, I'm definitely leaning, t leaning towards Z on Infernape because Pickpocket didn't work on the Weavile, which means Lando's not Z, which makes it a little bit less of a threat. I think Lando's Scarf then, that would make the most sense to me, is to bring Scarf Lando, which unfortunately is going to outspeed my Scarf Nido King, so I have to watch out for that. Uh, however, I've got Ice Shard in the back with Weavile. In team preview, or uh, sorry, in prep, I was expecting a Yachi Berry double dance uh, Lando. I was expecting Yachi Berry on Lando or the Haxorus because Weavile kind of cleans up a lot of his team. He could also be Yachi Berry on the Tornadus, which would make a ton of sense as well to me. Um, I was also really expecting the Klefki because that was kind of his best way to deal with Mega Gardevoir, which actually just blows this Vaporeon back, dude. Oh my god. I think he's maybe gonna go for a protect here so I'm gonna click the heal bell this turn wow that just did 48 maybe he's not max HP yeah he's not max HP how much did the skull do to me 29 would it still do 29 maybe he's speedy or he could be double he could be physically defensive and specially defensive actually 
Hang on. He is. <laughs> that's a very interesting set. So he put max defense, max special defense. That's his spread. Um, that's very curious. I kind of like that idea. Oh, he just goes into Delmize as we're going to get our heal bell off. So, um... This thing could be a problem, but Skarmory is my check to this thing all day, every day. Why would this thing tank a Psy Shock? It would 2 hit KO it. But if he's Assault Vest, it shouldn't matter. It would still 2, K two hit KO it. So Mega Artivore could have picked up more, but this is still a really good switch into Vaporeon if I need it to be, and he's still got some slow things, like Kecleon's slower, Delmize is slower, so if I can weaken Delmize, then Gardevoir can pick, pick it off as well. Um, Lando, if it's Scarf, is going to be faster. We can even save Gardevoir, uh, we can save Gardevoir for later and sort of check that out, but again, Skarmory is my switch in 100% of this thing. See what he's doing to us with Shadow Claw. That's just a 22, and he took the Rocky Helmet. No Life Orb damage. Skarmory. Shadow Claw. Yeah, that looks about standard Max Tech Adamant to me, is what that's looking like. Uh, I'm just gonna get my Rocks, I think, as in comes the Infernape. So, um, huh. Interesting, interesting. So he's got me in a really bad spot here. However, my team outspeeds the Delmize, and it's taken some chip now. Huh. I'm kind of okay. Okay, will I actually live a hit? I probably won't, but... If he's Z, let's just say you're mixed attacker, I guess. No, that's not the set that we want. Uh, let's say you're Sword Stance. Flare Blitz is not killing me. Uh, I kind of just want to give this up to get rid of the Infernape, to be honest. Oh, it's overheat. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's really bad. Uh, okay, well, actually, the fact that it's overheat is decently good for me, to be honest. Hmm, what can I click here? I can kind of click Sludge Wave, to be honest. What's his switch into Nido King? Is it Lando? Huh, so, he's, so he is mixed. He's overheat. Uh, we still have nothing confirming if he's scarfed or not, so I can go Rotom here. Skarmory wasn't super useful, it, was, it would have been nice to have rocks up against his team. Um, I risked it because I thought that he would Flare Blitz, which I lived. Um, yeah, so I can go Rotom here and click Hydro Pump, because you're not going to bring Vaporeon in on a Volt Switch, I don't think. Alright, if you're mixed... No, you don't get an attack that can knock me out, do you? Hang on. If you're mixed set, then Z Thunder Punch isn't do it's doing nothing to me. It's doing absolutely nothing to me. I get a free Hydro Pump off here. And if he wants to go Delmize... Uh, okay, that's a problem, actually. Maybe I do Volt Switch. Maybe I do. Maybe Volt Switch is my play. Rather than Hydro Pump. Because I'm imagining this Delmize is, um... I'm imagining this Delmize is Assault Vest. I can't fake it out with Weavile either. Excuse me. Otherwise, that would be really clutch. Uh, how much is a knockoff doing, though? He could be Culberberry. It's entirely possible that he's Culberberry, and I could just lose the game if he's Culberberry. Yeah, Knockoff's actually going to kill him from this range. So, what would I do then? Sack Gardevoir, bring in Weavile, get a Knockoff on something? I think he's going to switch. He's only see Okay, so the thing is that he's only seen my Volt Switch, right? So maybe he won't go into Delmize? But he could as well. Now, okay, is burned, Delmize, burned, Delmize, Rotom wash. Like, if I stay in with Rotom, and I burn him, wow, power of still doing half. Dad, can you not? I'm just gonna hide her. Ah, there's the U-turn. I should have ult switched. Oh well. If he goes Lando, it's not the worst. Uh, 
named it Kecleon. Okay, so we'll see what this Kecleon set is then. 88, okay, that's a 35. Uh, it's not assault vested. Yeah, it's not assault vested. It's maybe that set. Uh, I think I'm going to Will O Wisp here, actually. Let's get the burn off. Maybe he wants to rock. Wait, when did I get my rocks up? Oh, I did get my rocks up. Hang on, what? Oh, when he switched. Ooh, that's clutch. Um, I'm going to Volt Switch now. Assuming he wants to go... Uh, assuming he wants to go Vaporeon on my Hydro Pump now. Or he wants to change into a Ghost type or something. I'm just going to Volt Switch out now. Uh, because now, I think, is the time to get Gardevoir in against this thing. And throw up a Wish. He's burned. Yeah, now's the time to bring in Gardevoir, I think. And get up a Wish. Um, well, two Shadow Sneaks are going to kill me. So if he's carrying the Shadow Sneak, then maybe that's not the best play. It might be time to get Weavile in and grab some leftovers, or get Serena in and click Trop Kick, potentially, as well. Or U-Turn on Serena, maybe? Because he's got a few decent switch-ins to Serena, like Torn. Um, I'm running out of switch-ins to things, but I have a lot of offensive... I have a lot of offensive um, pressure, just because Skarmory's dead now. Really sucks. Uh, that was really good prep on his part with the Overheat Infernape. I was almost expecting special Electivire to deal with Skarmory, because he really just had nothing to deal with Skarmory on his entire team. Like, he had to bring special Infernape, or like Heatwave Tornadus, or special Electivire. Those were basically his only options. Okay, so now we're actually getting the Volt Switch off, and we see that does 9%. So actually we can see if this thing's Assault Vest or not. Or wash against Delmise, Offensive Spinner. So that did 9 which is looking like he's Assault Vested. Uh, there's the Assault Vest. Uh, yeah, it's looking like he's Assault Vest Delmise. So I'm gonna go Weavile and get a knockoff here. And now I think Infernape taking a knockoff into a Brick Break could kill it. And that's like his only real knockoff answer, I think. <sighs> Sorry, stretching a little bit. Let's actually see then. Knockoff's blowing this thing back to high hell. Infernape, mixed attacker. Yeah, with rock damage, knockoff into Brick Break's killing that thing. I still can't be sure if it's scarfed or not because I don't know how pickpocket works, so let's just look that up. Sort of figuring this out here. So, um, what? Um, I will work at the. Only steals the item if you're not holding an item, and it is a move that makes contact. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that Infernape Z now, and that means that I'm gonna risk my Weavile if he brings it in. Because I'm reasonably confident that the pickpocket mechanic works the way that I think it does. Okay, so in comes the Vaporeon. So he's just sacking up Vaporeon. That's pretty good for me-ish. Although I don't know what he wants to bring in now. So basically that was actually a really good plan on his part because Infernape would have died to an knockoff plus Brick Break. And I can't fake out. I couldn't fake out his Delmise. So now comes in comes the Infernape. This thing is a problem. This thing is a massive, massive, massive problem. Um, huh. I can reasonably click Ice Beam with Nidoking at this point. It's not doing a whole lot to Infernape. Oh, well, Sludge Wave I can reasonably click as well, actually. Which will hit a lot of things. The only thing that's not going to hit very well is the Lando. Which I still have... Um, 
Rotom is a switch in for, so Serena is looking very expendable. I'm just gonna go in Serena, see what he wants to do here, maybe U-turn. Yeah, U-turn was 100% his play, I think, there. So now he probably goes Tornadus, and I sack off Serena to go back into Weavile, I think. And fake out, because he can't go Delmise. Because he can't go Delmise, he, he cannot go Delmise. Uh, because then a knockoff kills it. So I'm not in a fantastic position, but weakening the Infernape more for, for Nido King later helps as well. 49.9. I wonder if he's got any attack investment. Whoops. U turn. Uh, yeah, it's looking like he's got a little bit of attack investment. What if he has max attack? Whoops. Messing that up a little bit. Max attack. He could still be max attack on the Infernape. We don't know his last two moves, obviously. But yeah, uh, Serena's looking like hot garbage here. He may not have Mach Punch on Infernape, which might leave Weavile in a good spot. Oh, I totally forgot about that when I was theory, theory mounting Weavile just a little while ago there. I think um, I think you go Tornadus here. Like That's really your best play. If you go Delmize, I'm going to knock it off. If you go Kecleon, I'm going to uh, drop kick it. Okay, so he goes Lando. Which I'm not super worried about. I'm actually just gonna knock off the Lando. Yeah, I'm gonna knock off the Lando. Oh, he is Z Lando. What? Why did I not take an item from the Infernape then? I'm very confused. He blows his Z though. What? Why did I not take an item from the Infernape then? Is he not running an item on Infernape? Or is this not how Pickpocket works? It could be that that's not how Pickpocket works. I'm not entirely sure about that. I definitely think Rotom Wash is a safe play here, and I can reliably click Hydro Pump against his team, can't I? Somewhat. Not really against Delmise. I could make a ballsy play and Bolt Switch, because I know Ice Shard's not killing this thing yet, although I'm not intimidated. Flyanium, Weavile. Oh, you know what? Ice Shard is a roll to pick him off. Which he'll know. So I'm actually going to Weavile and click Fake Out. I think that's my play. Is go Weavile and click Fake Out on whatever his Ice Shard switch in is. Because we know we're faster than this Lando now that we know that it's flying him. That, that leads me to believe he's Scarfed Infernape, actually. Or unless he's running double Z. I don't know why Pickpocket didn't work. Uh, it may be because I wasn't holding an item. Um, but if you look at the... If you look at the description, it just says, If this Pokemon has no item, it seals the item off of a Pokemon making contact with it. So that confused me because I was like, wait, did they have to make contact with me? And then I looked it up and I have to make contact with them. So it, it was very confusing, and I'm still not sure why I didn't steal Infernape's item unless he's not running an item. That's kind of where we're at with that. But Fake Out's my best play here, I think. Just to put him guaranteed in range of Ice Shard the next time, I can sack something again. Okay, so in comes the Kecleon now. And... Hang on. Is Kecleon... I can just kill the Kecleon here, I think. And then he'll go Infernape. Excuse me. Uh, Kecleon, we know you're not actually assault vested, but we know your leftovers. But you're burnt. So, Sneak and Sucker aren't doing enough that I would want not want to stay in here. Um, so, I'm just going to knock off now. Or, alternatively, I could show the Ice Shard, which will go first and kill. No, I'm, I'm going to knock off. Just in case he actually wants to double switch here. If he wants to double for some weird reason, then that's my play as well. Um, yeah. Uh, Mega Gardevoir looking a lot less viable at this point. 
Okay, so he did actually go for the Shadow Sneak, which won't... Oh, and there we go. So now I actually did steal his item, and it's because he made contact with me. So I clearly didn't understand what it was. What 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 that was. <laughs> I clearly didn't understand it. In comes the Infernape. I'm actually just going to sack off... Make a Gardevoir here. Um, sorry about that if you could hear that. that was my mom calling me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to suck off my guard here because it's not doing a lot this game anymore. I think Nino King is my win con at this range. At this rate, sorry. Weavile or Nido King are my win cons. Weavile beats everything not named Infernape at this point with Ice Shard. So we're going to sack off my guard. Unfortunately for my guard, it's going to get sacked. Um, it hasn't had a fantastic season for me. Whereas Needle King has, uh, we are a little bit over halfway down the regular season now. All right, so let's see what he wants to go for here. If he U-turns, then I might live. Yep, I do live. So he has to go Tornadus here, otherwise I get a big hit off. Gardevoir. Or a Wish, potentially, into something else. Um, Delmize, we know your AV. Uh, Psyshock? Okay, he's taking rocks, which will put him at 50. So Psyshock's a reasonable roll, if that's what he wants, wants to sack into me. Um, if he's a Soul Fisted, I don't think Hyper Voice is doing enough if he's a Soul Fisted. Mm, I like the Psyshock roll better. So he actually kind of messed up by clicking U-turn there. Because it means that Mega Gardevoir gets to kill something, or Tornadus takes rocks damage, which I'm also okay with, because then Weavile comes in again. Or Nidoking comes in, which may actually be the play. I'm quite confident that he's Scarfed Infernape. He... Can he kill my Nidoking with an Overheat? No, not banned in the Scarf set. Scarf. It's Nido King. So I don't think he's got Flare Blitz. Overheat from not Jolly, but let's say you're naive, you're mixed. Actually, let's not say you're naive because then I'm getting more damage to so say you're hasty. So Overheat's not killing me. Is Earthquake killing me? No. What's a roll? Okay, so yeah, so in comes the Tornadus here, which he actually had to go into. Um, so I'm just gonna go Kyper Voice, as he's just gonna kill me with the U turn. Um. That's better for me, overall. That's much better for me overall. I think, depending on what he goes into now, I don't know if killing me with a U-turn was his play. I think staying in with Tornadus might have been his play. <sighs> Rotom Wash is still really clutch. Nato King is still really clutch. I don't have a switch in, so I basically have to keep sacking things off. I think this is either going to end up in a 1-0 or he's going to just beat me out right here. Yeah, so in comes the Infernape, taking more rocks damage, actually. Hang on. Can you live a fake out into an Ice Shard? Thirty-five would be min. Max would be... Forty-two. Okay, so maximum is that I'm doing that much to you. I think Rotom is my play then. I really think Rotom is the play. Okay, so it's either Rotom or Nido King. Because Weavile won't kill with double priority here. Um. And I need it to, because I can't bring Weavile in twice on... Oh, I can, actually, because I got the Leftovers Recovery. Is that the play? Going Weavile, faking out, and then going into Rotom? That actually might be the play. Is going Weavile and then faking out into Rotom? Faking out and then going into Rotom. Getting some valuable chip on this thing. And if he brings in Delmize, I can kill it. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Because otherwise Rotom draws in the Delmize, which I don't have a switch into, so... 
All right, so we're gonna click Faker here, which he knows is gonna happen. And if he goes Delmize, then I get another kill, get another differential point, which I'm okay with. Delmize is the thing that I have the least switch ins to at this point. Uh, we still don't know what the Torn set is, but Rotom reliably walls Lando, uh, both of his genies, Lando and Torn. And Nido King is still sitting in the back waiting to clean up, hopefully with Ice Beam late game. The only thing stopping that is Infernape not having this fake out chip on it, to be honest with you. Because once it gets fake out chip, then I can actually just Ice Beam through his team. Depending on his HP investment, I would imagine he's running a tiny bit of HP investment. Probably not, considering he's U-turn plus overheat. I think he's running a lot of speed. Okay, so he let me get that damage off, which is actually really clutch for me. And now I'm going to double into Rotom. Because I sure wasn't going to kill. As he mock punches. So he does have the mock punch. And they crit me. Um, Alright, well you... I'm pretty sure he's locked in a Mach Punch, if that's his play, so I'm going to Volt Switch here. I'm going to Volt Switch in case he goes Delmas on me. I don't reliably wall his stuff because I'm running Defog over Pain Split. I was running Defog just because it's a reliable way to get rid of Klefki's spikes, if he wanted to spike stack me of Klefki, but he didn't even bring Klefki. I actually think Klefki would have been really solid against my team. Um, I, I think what deterred him from bringing Klefki is that I have two Dark Types in Incineroar and Weavile. Both are immune to his Prankster T-Waves shenanigans. Um, both get reasonably chunked by things like Play Rough, and Weavile is also weak to Steel. Oh, he's not Scarf. What? What were you? Okay, well, it doesn't even matter, because Nino King actually just comes in now, I think. Hang on, Delmas is at 62. He might have thrown. Um, showing that he's not Scarf. Oh, you know what? He might be Scarf Tornadus. That, um, that's the only possibility at this at this point, I think. Ooh, you're burnt. You're burnt, though. So the play might be Nido King. Double Ice Beam kills Delmize. No, hang on. No, one, one. Uh, ooh, it's a roll. Uh, I think I'm gonna go Weavile here and just get a fake off. Fake out, fake out off on whatever is going to come in. I think that's my play. He might have thrown by sacking Infernape there. Uh, wow, that him hitting that gunk shot could have been huge. If he got the poison on that gunk shot, that could have been massive. Uh, I get a guaranteed fake out off, or I kill the Delmize, which is standing in the way of my Nido King sweeping. What can Tornadus do if it's scarfed to me? Tornadus, Flyzy, sorry, that's Tornadus Therian. Offensive support. Hurricane, I'm not sure you have, but you're not Life Orb. For sure you're not Life Orb. So, Hurricane won't kill me, and at the range he's at, Ice Beam will kill him. So, it's looking to me like Nido King cleans. Alright, so there's Lando, Intimidate, I'm just gonna fake out. He can go into Delmize here and then go back into Lando, it really doesn't matter to me, because I just need some chip. I'm just looking for chip anyways, and Weavile obviously can't come back in on rocks at this point, so... Um, unless I wanted to defog, which I don't, because the rocks are hindering his Tornadus more than they're hindering my team. They're also chipping the Delmize into a range where Nido King can sweep with Ice Beam, which is uh, the only move that I'll be clicking at this stage in the game. Landorus is also in range, I believe, if it wasn't already. If it's defensive, which we know it's not, then it was still dying, actually. Um, so Landorus was always in range. Tornadus is in range, and Delmize is almost in range. It's very, very, very close to being in range of my Ice Beam after rocks. Um, and a Soul Fisted Max HP Delmas that is at least. Sorry, I didn't even calc that, but. Soul Fist. Oh, Max HP is not going to be in range. So I will have to get some chip off on it again. Which is probably Rotom. I'll probably just. What I'll probably do is sack the Rotom to it. If that's the case. And I may or may not click defog on it. Okay, so he's letting me kill his Delmize, which is huge for me. It's absolutely massive for me, because this is the thing standing in the way of Nido King winning the game. So I'm just going to knock off here, which is going to kill this thing. We know it's AV. Yep. All right, well, it looks to me like Nido King wins. <laughs> and that's what it's looking like to me. You can bring in Lando or Torn. It doesn't matter. I'm, I know I'm minus one, but I'm just going to click Ice Shard on whatever. Okay, so Lando comes in, so now I'm minus two. On land and Durus, Flyzy, and we're actually minus one with the Intimidate, so it's doing about half to him. 
I could crit this still. I don't. Which is fine. Um, so Landers ends up killing me there. That's fine by me. Nido King comes in here and I think just cleans up the game. By clicking Ice Beam. He was Z fly with knockoff. That's very interesting to me. So Nido King picking up another kill and then Tornadus is going to come in here. If it's scarfed, then if it's not scarfed, then I win outright. And if it is scarf, I don't think he can kill me. Based on the calcs we were just running. So we'll see if he's scarfed or not. Oh, he is scarfed and he has psychic. Oh my God. I didn't even think of that. Damn it. All right. Well, we lose one. No. Fuck me. Damn. I didn't even think of psychic crap. Well, it looks like we didn't have a chance. Damn it. Oh, crap. Oh, so we lose 1-0 to Dom or Rudiger. Oh my god, fucking Psychic on Tornadus. There's no way that I'm putting this in Dan's uh, in Dan's server with all the swearing I've done at the end here. Fuck Psychic, damn it. Damn it! I fell for that shit against um, Ben as well. He was Scarf Psychic. Was it a roll? Oh, whoops. Was it a roll? It was absolutely a roll. Oh my god, that was so close. That was so unbelievably close. Get the replay up here. Be able to post that. Um, Alright, well, that's all for me, I guess, guys. Uh, we take the 1-0 loss to Rudiger and his Cleveland Nest Cavaliers. That's actually a huge loss because... I really think that I could have won that game had I played a little bit differently, um, or had I played not around in Fernie being choice scarfed. Uh, he baited it being scarfed really well. I don't. I want to know if he ran double Z. That's what I really want to know is if he ran double Z. Excuse me. I potentially could have saved Weavile. All right. So hear hear me out here. I potentially could have saved Weavile and gone Rotom on Landorus's knockoff. and maybe picked off, the, uh, I probably wouldn't have been able to pick off the Torn. So anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, that's enough for me. Next week we play Andy and his Louisiana Larvitars. And so keep an eye out for that and I'll catch you guys later.